Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Coach and Standards Academy. Today in this video let's learn about positive material identification. Let's get into the scope. The scope of PMI. The PMI is a rapid and a non-destructive method for verifying the chemical composition of our metals and alloys to ensure our products have been manufactured using a correct material to find uh, potentially mixed up alloys to ensure the materials conformance to the codes and specification and to find uh, welded components have used the correct uh, filler materials and consumables. X-ray fluorescent analyzer is the method used to perform PMI on materials. Coming back to the X-ray fluorescent analyzer's principle, it has uh, the components as follows. X-ray source, a sample, a detector, a processing unit. Now what happens is first the primary X-rays from the X-ray source allow to collide the sample. When it collides the sample, the sample will emit a secondary X-rays. These X-rays are detected by the detector and are sent to the processing unit. Now let's learn what actually happens when the X-rays are allowed to collide with a material. Now uh, let's look at this arrangement. A stable atom is made of a nucleus and electrons revolving around it. The electrons are arranged in a different energy levels and uh, different energy levels can hold a different number of units. When a high energy primary X-ray collides with an atom, it disturbs its equilibrium. As a result, an electron is ejected from the low energy level and a vacancy is created making the atom unstable. Now to restore the stability, an electron from a higher energy level falls into this vacancy. This excess energy released as the electron uh, moves between the two levels is emitted in the form of secondary X-rays. Now the secondary X-rays are collected to the detector and are sent to the processing unit where the intensity of the secondary X-rays are measured and which in turn gives the percentage of the alloying elements. So this is a typical X-ray fluorescent analyzing instrument. It looks like a gun and in the holding grip we have a control. Now we need to keep this instrument on the face of the product and then it will give uh, the alloying elements. Uh, we have tested a stainless steel 316 grade so it gives the chemical alloying elements as follows chromium 17.17, nickel 10.13 and molybdenum 2.14. This XRF uh, technique has its own drawbacks as it can't uh, detect carbon and some lighter elements and it's not suitable for checking carbon steels. Now if you look at the modern periodic table, uh, it only detects the highlighted elements starting from a sodium to astatine and from cerium to uranium. For more videos related to materials and international codes, subscribe to our channel Coach and Standards Academy and follow us on Instagram. And finally, thank you for watching.